I'm little sad that Honorable Rashtrapati ji has been made to read out the election manifesto of BJP. As expected, there has been mention about Ayodhya thrice. And in all the speeches, without Ayodhya, without Prime Minister, no speech is completed from the treasury benches. Sudam Shu Trivedi ji, he spoke about astrophysics, Veda, science, everything. Sudam Shu ji, where he has gone? See, after all, he is only a Trivedi. There is a Chaturvedi sitting here. She should, she should be more authoritative about such Vedic sciences. See, madam, we are passing through very difficult times. The astrologers will teach you science. Godmen will teach you technology. Technology is here, Godmen will teach you technology. Amit Shah Ji and Ari Fumidakan together will teach you harmony between states and center. This is it. Sir, all of a sudden, BJP has become low abiding. Jitna bar bolre Supreme Court ka bare mein. Even during the Pran Pradishta, there was a reference to Supreme Court. Are they inflicted with selective amnesia? They are indeed. What did the Supreme Court say in its verdict? An honorable judge who presided over the bench is a member of this house. I rarely see him. Today I saw him for two minutes, but he disappeared. I wanted to speak about that. Is it not a fact the same Supreme Court said there was a conspiracy, calculated act, and egregious violation? It further said the desecration in 1949 leading to the ouster of Muslims and its eventual destruction on December 6 constituted a serious violation of rule of law. Kisne kiya? Daji sahab, aap log ne kiya. All of a sudden they forget about it. I mean, they forget about the Supreme Court verdict. Now, see the sad predicament of this country. I will come to you, Daji Chandrasekhar ji. I will come to you. His colleague, his colleague, Welcome. who is supposed to be a candidate in a constituency, is busy crowning Mary Mada in Trichur. Mary Mada. See? Amarji, I will tell you. At the same time, Amarji's problem is that he is part of a bipolar political party. <laughs> bipolar a political party. You object. Please object. I have spoken, I have spoken, I have spoken to Mr. Pandit, that's what I'm telling you. Sir, they all speak about Ram. Are, Amara bhi hai Ram. Aapka thodi hai. Ram, Ram belongs to us also. See, my Ram is Mahatma Gandhi's Ram. Of compassion, of harmony and love. You also have a Ram. You also have a Ram. But there is a prefix to that. You know what is the prefix? Their Ram is Nadu Ram. That is a farak. That is the difference between our Ram and your Ram. Sir, nowadays we cannot distinguish between the Prime Minister and the High Priest. Whether the, our Prime Minister is a High Priest or the High Priest is a Prime Minister. If there is a political program, it will be turned into a religious program. If it is a religious program, it would be turned into a political program. They all accused us of staying away from Ayodhya, Pran Pradishta. Are, what did the Shankarajarias did? Will you send ED and CBI after Shankarajarias? All of them stayed away because they didn't want to be part of this political drama which you are trying to whip up there in Ayodhya. Sir, Madam, let me just say one thing. Mahatma Gandhiji in Harijan wrote, Precisely wrote about them, sir. Precisely wrote about them. To repeat Ramadama and to follow the way of Ravana is actual practice worse than useless. It is sheer hypocrisy. One might deceive oneself 
or the world but one could not deceive the almighty you cannot deceive lord rama because though you are harping on rama your only intention is to have to reap political benefits nothing else madam the situation in this country it's vitiated you would be surprised madam a professor in a organization in an institute posted in her social media account that she is proud of god save for saving india this is because you are inspiring the academics to say that can you ever think about such a situation say 5 years back in this country this is where the country has been taken madam today is fifth yesterday was fourth there is a significance for fourth you know what is fourth significance february fourth that was the day mr rajiv chandrashekar our hero your hero sardar patel banned rss just on the eve of this day you understand that and one more thing i was so sad to see the honorable rashtrapati being preceded paraded behind a shankol is it a modern democratic country madam is it not a fact that sardar patel would be turning in his grave because he was instrumental in dumping shankol simhasan crown to redeem this country from all these monarchies you want to take back this country to the monarchy era shortly mr dc the sirbai you will see a simhasan here the parliament would be turned into it i am always afraid i am always afraid when the prime minister prostrate in front of a organization or institution prime minister when he took charge as the prime minister he came and prostrated on the steps of parliament kadam kar diya parliament wherever he prostrate kadam kar rahe if he calls mitrom there is going to be a misery for the people you know that what happened during the demonetization so you are doing injustice to mr sardar patel by bringing back shengol and simhasans and of course the clowns also will be back because palace clowns were there yeah. naturally when monarchy comes rajiv saab palace clowns also will come back <laughs> sir is it central republic of course sir the moment the kerala where is mr javadekar ji rajiv chandrasekhar ji is very active it said that he is going to be con contesting from kerala thank you sir welcome we are very happy that he should come he should listen to the music of the people of kerala that is what what we want him to do so, so. instead of giving everything to mr murli then you also should come there <laughs> sir madam the point is very simple sabka saath sabka vikas sabhi waqt ko ye sun ke sun ke tang ho gaya kiska saath hai aap log kiska saath hai kiska saath hai ha aapne mere saath hai na aapne pran pratishtha kiya i don't want to dispute about pran pratishtha because these are times when human beings will have to give pran to gods that is it but the primary responsibility of the prime minister is to give pran to the citizens not the gods he should obviously stick to his duties he should go to manipur and conduct a pran pratishtha for the citizens that should be done first instead of that don't create political drama to just get some votes peplo babu i know you are nodding your head you are in agreement with me you cannot dispute me i know that <laughs> sir madam now the past time of bjp rss is dismantling institutions institution after institutions are dismantled we all talk about suresh reddy ne bol diya ye parliament ke bare mein abhi kya debate chal rahe koi parusale bills do diligence se what happened to the uh, standing committees kuch ho rahe peenga madam kuch ho rahe she has not been attended a parliamentary standing committee for 2 3 months koi committee nahi hai parusal nahi hai bill nahi bhej rahe committee ko aap to ye 2 minute se dosha banne ke tarah to bill ban rahe law ban rahe ye kya haal hai kya mahol banaya aap log hai sir you are digging 
digging every religious institute you need to dig further further how far you are going to dig how far madam i have two more bins my party has two, uh, seven bins i will take two more bins from there and how far you are going to dig aapka samay samapt ho gaya once you dig further you will find buddha vihars and jai vihars if you dig further you will have to go to middle east if you dig further you will have to go to africa where all your ancestors came from so what is the futility the purpose of this digging sir now selective statistics what is happening in this manit sadar sir aapka samay samapt kya hai the country has been taken to a different level ye 56 inch hai 56 inch fighter lin economy kya kya bol rahe i need two more minutes because my ab aapki baat record mein nahi li jayegi aapka samay samapt ho gaya two more minutes please aapka samay samapt ठीक ठीक मिन्स देयर मैडम मैडम सी स्टैटिस्टिक्स यू कांट डिफीट दो स्टैटिस्टिक्स बट व्हेन यू पिक अप सेलेक्टिव स्टैटिस्टिक्स दैट इज वेयर यू आर यूपीए लॉट ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स हैव बीन डाउनलोड माय लीडर तिरुचि शिवाजी ड्यूरिंग द यूपीए व्हाट वाज द जीडीपी 6.8 आपका 10 साल में क्या था कितना है 5.9 you talk about what redeeming 25 crore people from poverty that is because of the extrapolation of the data by the niti ayog you have dispensed with census you don't have the head count ratio you add those things if it was a real picture it would have reflected in the global hunger index in global hunger index where are you now again you go to any index human development index You go to press freedom index. क्या हो रहा है press freedom index में? अभी देखो ये बाबुल आपने बदल दिया. क्या बाबुल है? पहले तो media में ये था. आपने ये ले ये निकाल दिया. वो रखा है. Media बनाया है. बोडिया. The media in this country has been converted as bodia. So only Rosi. You are owning a media house. That's why I'm telling you, Mr. Ajib ji. So this is it. All other media has been turned like your media organization. Now, sir. now all the states are protesting all our rights even sir your rights have been wind away by this government that is the plight kerala is protesting here for the first time the entire ministry mls mbs from kerala and karnataka are going to camp in delhi to protest against your unitary tendencies starving the states fleece in the states at the same time i would thank the honorable home minister let me conclude this speech by thanking the honorable home minister you know for what for deploying crpf for the raj pramukh raj bhavan thereby protecting the people of kerala from the governor <laughs> the crp will protect kerala because crp is given to hari fumud khan that is a situation in this country so i would only say that when you talk about sabke saath sabka vikas sabke prayas your only intention is to segregate create polarization divide this country take this country to the medieval era we will not allow this at 2024 elections would be a waterloo for you thank you very much sir